Hello Top Potters, this is Simon Mas. Music is art, art is created through a dialogue between old and new ideas. Creativity doesn't exist in a vacuum. We all agree on that, right? Yes, sir! As far as music is concerned, the current trends in copyright protection seems to be all about disrupting that dialogue or silence it altogether. It all started in 2013. A court ruled that Robin Thicke's blurred lines infringes on Mervyn Gaye's copyright on Got to Give It Up. Different notes, different scales, different rhythm, different phrasing, but the songs share the similar vibe. If you ever wrote any piece of music, you know that this is utter nonsense. It's akin to Agatha Christie suing someone for having written a novel with a mystery in it and winning the case. They were? It is a disgrace of unmitigated proportions. Now, if you write a happy song, you might get sued by someone who wrote another happy song. Similar vibes. Go to jail. Naturally, this idiocy opened the gates for a flood of idiotic copyright claims. There are unsuccessful composers who try to make some money suing more famous colleagues, even when their claims have no merit. And there are bankers, investors, or copyright administrators, people who seem to only care about milking their cows as much as possible. The judiciary has created a world in which it's cheaper to avoid going to court and slap someone's name on the credit list of your song, even if they didn't do anything and you never even heard their music. The other side of this coin is the utter stupidity of how the social media and the record industry are approaching copyright and fair use. Admittedly, this story begins with the big war on piracy, but the current trend of big tech handling almost everything with an algorithm has made things much worse. Do you know Rick Beato? He's a YouTuber who offers a lot of video commentaries and explanations about music, university level stuff. He also has semi-regular rants about unfair copyright takedowns and strikes against his channel. He plays snippets of a song in his 30-minute video commentary on that song and BAM! And he is just one of thousands of examples. Where is fair use, you wonder? How is YouTube protecting its creators and applying the law? Remember when I covered fair use? I said it is not an automatic license, but a defense you can use in court. YouTube cannot substitute a court of law. It received a notification that a certain video is using copyrighted material. YouTube then is applying the law by sending you a copyright strike or taking down the video or whatever they do. It's up to you to go to court and pay the price to see if a judge agrees with you. YouTube's system is not perfect, they say it themselves. YouTube claims that you as a creator have your say on the matter and that they will listen. This is not what happened when CD Baby filed a copyright claim on my channel because I uploaded my own music, the same music I gave them to distribute. When I showed to the YouTube staff proof from the US Copyright Office that I was the composer and owner of the music, YouTube raised their hands. They said to contact CD Baby and get things sorted with them. I managed to do so in a couple of emails. I can see how the outcome might have been different. All it takes is a more difficult situation to judge and a less amiable partner than CD Baby was. By the way, I'm picking on YouTube because we're on YouTube. Other social media are not any better. This madness only happens with music. It's not like that with cinema or photography or other arts. Not to this level anyway. It looks like common sense is not applied when it comes to music copyrights. It looks like greed is the primary force involved. The hell with developing an environment that allows for creativity and progress to thrive. 
Rumor has it that YouTube is going to offer a system to allow creators to use copyrighted music in their videos. We'll talk about why it might be a huge step backwards for songwriters in the next and final episode of this mini-series about copyright. For the moment, stay cool and keep your top hat on. Bye bye! Simon Mas, music you love.